find a way that ah! we could I knew it was had to be a that we just had to find a topic. <laughs> we need to find a topic. That shit was all that over. Shit was hey, fun. what's up you guys? Welcome back to Hanoi Talk. Guess who I'm here with? Jalisa. She is an upcoming artist and she is the baddest bitch. <laughs> Stop. Yes, bitch. So today's topic, we're actually going to talk about the quote unquote competition that we have in the industry we're both interested in. So explain to everybody, what are your goals? What are you currently working on? And who is Jalisa? All right. Well, I am a actress, model, singer, rapper. <laughs> Go ahead, sis. Writer. No. Um, I am currently working on a mixtape. <gasps> yes. Awesome. And a screenplay. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> and also working on my um, portfolio. Oh. You better go ahead. So I can, you know, send them to agencies and managers and agents and do the job. This is the work that I'm talking about. She puts in her time, she puts in her effort, and she has connections that can build up to the person that she wants to be. See, I feel like people that have this type of confidence, they can do this in seconds. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They can just, I feel as if like your personality, your look, the way you carry yourself is your business card. Perception is everything in this industry and the way you portray yourself and the way you brand yourself is very important because that's the first thing people see is, you know, what you bring and right. how you look and how you stand and how you talk. Definitely. So, and I feel like a lot of the times, let's say you're in a town where everybody wants the same goals as you that is going to make everything much more difficult so you need to be the, that person that stands out you need to find something within yourself and make that weird thing about you a brand and make that larger than life that's what catches people's attention i i think that's like amazing i think that's beautiful when people are just different and i'm not saying like different like you have to go out in like a whole tuxedo to go to the gym. Like that'll just be ridiculous. Like I'm talking about like you have to be different within something within your personality that you don't see often. Can you explain some struggles like becoming an artist? I know that a lot of the, a lot of people, especially in our town, mm -hmm. are trying to become an artist, and it takes a certain type of person to make it. Well, personally, I don't believe in competition. I think there there's a lane for everyone, yeah, um, go ahead. and you know, it's just the way you do things. You know, that right. makes it different. Um, a big struggle for me is just trying to find other people that understand what I understand you yeah. know what I mean trying to get them to see my vision that's like my biggest struggle it's not finding a place to do it or the money it's finding people who understand you as you know an artist so can you say what is your vision or do you want to keep that on the low low yeah, I feel you I respect that see <laughs> that's what I mean where people know how to carry their business they know how to carry their brand because they don't want a lot of people to know and mm -hmm. knowing that this is gonna air <laughs> we don't want you to know <laughs> enough about me Hanoi I see you doing your thing let's talk <laughs> about what you're doing and I mean for now, I'm definitely a television personality. Like, I feel like I'm very larger than life. If you know me outside of YouTube, pop. That's how I am. <laughs> I'm definitely that firework, the last one that everybody goes home thinking about. And 4th of July is this weekend, honey, and you will see me in the sky. <laughs> My goals in life are definitely just to become a talk show host, to host a lot of television shows, and it's all about TV for me. I do it for the fame, I do it for the money, and I'm doing it for my family. So this is all going to be great. I do it mostly for my family because a lot of the times in my family's like culture, it's like it's very difficult and common for a lot of people in my family are just quick to do like sports and like truck driving jobs and like things that I'm not interested in. I am a larger than life. <laughs> so I need to do something that is going to catch people's attention. I'm just that thing. I don't know. I don't know a specific word. You know when you're in that, you know, like you just know you want to, you're just this type of person, but you just don't know how to say it. You're like a diamond in, in the, the sky. sky. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Today was just an episode to, you know, get to know me and get to know Jalisa and, you know, we're both going to be upcoming artists. So Okay, I need to find somewhere to put my social media. Move. Okay, so you can follow me and Jalisa right here. And yeah, so thank you guys so much. And you will be watching us again. <laughs>
Mwah. Upcoming artist. What you are? Oh my God, yes. No, this is an art. This is an art. What are you doing? 